Hello everybody, this is Sadish from websitesdevelopments.com and today we are going to start a tutorial series on creating a pagination class. Okay? So before we actually start programming our PHP pagination class, I like to show you guys a demo of what we are actually going to build. Okay? So we have a basic HTML structure here and these lines are associated with Twitter bootstrap okay, for theming our pagination. Nothing much. And first thing I'm going to do is to require once the our pagination class, okay. So don't worry about this pagination.php file because we'll be uh, building this class in the next couple of videos in this tutorial series, okay. But for now, just pretend this class is already there, okay, for the sake of demonstration. And now I'm going to declare an associate URA, okay. We'll give this as total records and I'll just give the number as 8, okay. And then records per page. These are the parameters we are going to pass in our pagination class. And then we need pagination URL. And that's going to be localhost Alright, now uh, the way we are going to access our pagination class is by initiating the class, okay, by creating an object and then we will call the function pagination display and we will be passing our array here, okay, so these arguments will go into our pagination display function inside the pagination class and that will automatically create the pagination for us ok so let's give a try and we have a pagination displayed right so this is all we need to do as an end user to get our pagination working so it is simple to do that and you guys might have noticed uh, all this pagination tabs are already themed right that's because uh, we have twitter bootstrap here uh, included in the top of the header func header side and all the class and i also made all the class associated with this pagination part uh, in synchronous with the twitter bootstrap class itself okay and we'll be building all this in the next video and before that uh, in real time this is not the only requirement we have right we need uh, stuffs like getting data from the database right so i'll show you that also now so what i'm going to do now is require another file connection.php okay so this is going to have all our database tabs and then we will initiate an ob instance okay, for that class. Get instance and then we are going to use a variable rowcount and access function count okay now if there is any data return if there is any row available in our database we will get some value in the row count right so we are checking that using if okay there is row count and if there is no row count and now what we had to do is put the whole stuff here inside this part okay 
everything goes inside this if condition and if there is nothing we'll just say no records okay okay now this total records has to come from database right and that is available in the variable to count right and so we are getting the total number of rows records from the database here right and that is assigned here and now we have to display the actual data right and for that we need two parameters okay first thing is i'll do that below this first thing is start record and that comes from this data right so we have this function called start the pagination okay in the pagination class and the start record is calculated by the function start okay not start i am sorry about that it's start record so this start record is calculated by the function start record inside the pagination class so we get from there and the next thing is records per page and that we already have here right records per page so we just assign that here and now using both these we should be able to display our pagination data okay it's going to be display page you don't need space here and we are going to pass two arguments that is start record and records per page so this should give us all the contents okay from the database okay so you guys can see here we are getting all these data from the database directly and that's because uh, all the database operations are connected by this connection.php file and pagination is handled by pagination.php file okay so this is a highly customizable pagination class which we will be building in the next part of our video okay and if you want to have this pagination even after all these details here we could do that by just copying this particular line right let me show you here so uh, another thing I had to mention is uh, you guys can see here we have three pages displayed now right and when I click second can see here we got two more displayed so it is set in a way uh, we can have like two pages on the left and two pages in the right okay and that way even if we have like hundreds of pages in our pagination we won't have any problem with space right everything will be handed smoothly here and when I am in the last record you can see here there is no next button likewise if i am in the first record there is no previous button okay so this is a highly customizable pagination class we'll be building in the next video and i hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial so guys if you like our videos please support us by liking this video and also by subscribing to our channel i'll see you guys in the next video
थैंक्स फॉर योर टाइम